Good morning, children. Hope you all safe at home. Let's start our today's class with positive thought. According to scientists, smiling causes an influx of positive emotions that help in relieving stress and lowering your blood pressure. Each time you smile, you benefit your health and happiness. Not only can smiling lift your mood, but it can also elevate the mood of those around you. When you smile at others, it gives them a boost of happiness, helps them to lead a healthier life, and influences how they pursue you. The world would be a more beautiful place if we all would smile more at ourselves and at others. The next time you are feeling down, nervous, stressed out or just need to elevate your mood, try smiling and thinking of something positive. To brighten your day and someone else, here is uplifting, cute and beautiful smile quote. Life is like a mirror. Smile at it and it smiles back to you. Children, I hope that you have completed your homework. I ask you to list out extraordinary physically challenged personalities. Here is few personalities who are physically disabled and they succeed in their life. Let's see. Children, look at the picture. He is one of the most brilliant scientists. Wheelchair bound British theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking. He was born on January 8, 1942 and was suffered by rare motor neuron disease and speaks with the help of a voice synthesizer. When he was 21 years old, the doctors declared that he would not survive more than two or three years. He attended Oxford University in England as an undergraduate student he received his Ph.D. in 1966 from Cambridge University. By the time he was 35 years old, Hawking was Cambridge's first gravitational physics professor and received the Lusigan Professor of Mathematics Award. In 2009, he lost his control over different parts of the body, including arms, legs, and voice. And at the end of 2009, he totally became paralyzed. He has also published a book called A Brief History of Time. From the Big Bang to Back Holes. Children, next personality is Helen Keller. She was born as a blind, deaf, and mutant on June 27, 1880. She is an author, political activist, and lecturer, and devoted her life to persons with disabilities, thus becoming an inspiration to many disabled persons. Helen Keller traveled to at least 39 countries and worked for women's welfare, workers' rights, socialism and many other social causes. She passed away on June 1st, 
68 children we are all blessed by gods so always be happy and make others happy children let's start the lesson ram comes to rithi's school by seeing the title can anyone guess what we are going to learn yes good to tell you about a a special things happened in a school that is rithi school because of some disabled children going to admit her in her school let's see the lesson it was the first day of school after summer holidays rithi and her friends santosh anita were excited to be back the building is repainted it is looking so fresh and they like the new color better than the plain white they had before they saw the playground which was redone and it's completely flat now they walked along looking at all the changes as they approached the entrance of the school building they saw that there was a slope next to the steps and anita said why have they put it here their teacher miss sidi was explained the children that this year a few children on wheelchairs have taken admission so we are trying to make it easy for those children the ramp was put it next to the steps to make it easy for the children who have some difficulty in walking the ramp will be helpful as they need not use the steps they had a doubt that whether the ramp have been put up in all the four floors and what about the toilets the regular toilet is very difficult for the people who are going to admit now so the teacher answered their question that the lift was put up in the school newly and the toilet was now a bigger one so that the wheelchair can go in and turn and they have put rails along the walls for those who use walking sticks and who need support the floors are made up of special non slippery tiles so that no one slips and falls and the height of the basin and the other fixtures is low to make it easy to use so the children are look forward to meeting their new friend and helping him to settle in the class and school children have you ever think about the communication of visually impaired and deaf and dumb people yes how they will communicate with others and how they will learn 
if you see the visually impaired that is the people who cannot see how they will learn there is a special language or system is made for them for learning the system is called as the braille system so the visually impaired people can learn through the braille system and how the deaf and dumb people will communicate with the others they can't hear yes children the people who cannot speak oral languages how they will communicate they will communicate with others through hand gestures that is sign language they will made a symbols using their hands through which they will communicate with other people children i hope that you understood the concept of the lesson that is we have to help them and treat them equally now let's have a small worksheet from the lesson this worksheet has fill in the blanks and answer the following questions i hope that you will do it that's all about today's class Thank you children have a nice day